Oh my God, I thought today was Thursday. I was literally like, that's gonna be like, that's it for Thursday, tomorrow's Friday and we're done. We're not done. This video is gonna be so long. <laughs> we're not done, it's only Wednesday. That's okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, good night everyone. <laughs>
those are your roles and that's how you learn is by watching other people and seeing what they do um, and taking notes and stuff. So that's cool. And yeah, let's go do that. I'm gonna show you guys outside. Yesterday I was like, oh, it's just a parking lot. And it is just a parking lot. But if you open your horizons and look a bit farther, you can see like the windows are so dirty. Over here, it's actually really pretty. You have like all the different colored leaves um, and there's like a little golf course. And actually, if you look down, down out there, you can see like sort of the mountains. So that's nice. So I don't know if the lighting's any good. I'll do a little outfit of the day. Um, I'm wearing these pants from, these are from Forever 21 actually. Um, but I kind of, I don't know, I like them. Um, and the sweater is from H&M. And then for shoes, I'm gonna just wear these um, boots. So that's it, nothing too crazy. Hi everyone, I'm home from my day. Um, it's 6.45 and uh, I got home maybe 20 minutes ago and I just immediately put on my cozy outfit. Woo! Um, and I've just been actually like kind of getting my SHIT. What can I say? I don't... Uh, 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 me unable to know what to do if I can't say the word shit. Okay, I've been getting my shit together. So I've just been getting my kind of shit together. I've been putting away my laundry, having a bit of a break. Um, I'm gonna have to do more work tonight. Um, so I'm just giving myself a little bit of time off before I start again. Um, I've been listening to the Kenzie Elizabeth podcast. I really, really like it. Um, yeah, this is the episode with Molly Bailey and I find it really insightful talking about friendships. And um, it reminded me of something that came up at work today that I wanted to mention. So, um, I work as, yeah, like I said at the beginning, I work as a management consultant, um, and I'm, I'm currently in a rotational program for new grads, um, but the program, I'm just going to find a spot that I can like sit so I can talk about this. So while listening to this podcast, it reminded me of something that was said at work today that I thought was kind of inspiring, um, and that is about um, how you act in periods of change and how you act um, in periods of stress. So, um, like I said at the beginning of the video, I work in management consulting. Um, I'm actually in a rotational program right now that's for new graduates, um, but I'm assigned to the people and organization competency within my firm. So, the project I'm working on right now is about um, an organization that went, underwent a lot of change, um, and we're just helping them like do the change management and adapt to the transformation that they underwent. So, what they were talking about is how Basically, the organization um, put in place like a new way of doing things, let's say. And under times of pressure and times of stress, people revert back to the old way of doing things. And it's completely normal. Um, and they were saying how learning to do the new things and the right habits is like a muscle that you have to work because when you get stressed, you freak out and you revert back to your old ways. And I really related to this <laughs> for like my personal life. And I wanted to talk about it because I think it could be like a good message um, for people to hear. So the past week, um, I've been pretty stressed. I've been getting assigned more work at work. Things are ramping up and you know, it's like a learning curve of starting a new job and all that. Um, and when I'm stressed, I do a, a few things and they're not good habits. And the first bad habit is I have really negative self-talk. I put way too much pressure on myself and I give my, I tell myself like, oh, you're dumb, um, you're stupid, you're not working hard enough, you're not good enough. like really not nice things and uh, I'm not saying this so that people like are like oh why are you telling us this it's just in case someone out there can relate you know you're not alone um, so that's one thing that I do when I'm stressed and the other thing that I do is I let go of my healthy habits and working out and being healthy has been something that's been a part of my life and it's been really important to me for the last few months um, and letting go of it like hurts and I feel like it starts like a negative cycle so it just made me think of what we were talking about today which is like under periods of stress when you let go and you go back to your old habits I've started doing that again um, and so I just thought it was interesting to be aware of that that it's normal to revert back to your old habits and when you're aware of something that's when you can go in and make those changes so it kind of uh, was a funny enlightening moment on the job today I was taking notes um, of the meeting and I really wanted to write those notes down but like I couldn't switch my screen because I don't want people to see 
see what I was writing. So I just remembered it in my head um, and I wanted to talk about it uh, at the end of today's clip. So the summary of that is if you're going through hard times and you're reverting back to your old habits, it's normal, but just being aware of it can help you make a change. So for me, it's gonna be to stop the negative self-talk when I hear it coming, be like, okay, but it's not true. Those things aren't true. And also to make an effort to focus more on eating healthy um, because that's the big thing I let go of is I start eating like crap when I'm stressed. So hopefully that was enlightening for you. Okay, so for the rest of the night, I am going to, I had dinner sort of, I had like a snack on the train. I'm not that hungry. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna make dinner, but uh, to be determined, I kind of can't be bothered. I know that's bad. That's just like the bad habits I was talking about. I don't know, I'll keep you guys posted. But yeah, I'm gonna continue having my break time, listening to my podcast, put away my laundry, and then back to work. So yeah. This is what happens when you try and be cool and film. You make a line like this. Not good. guys I look like a like a thumb um, but that's okay so yeah it's Tuesday morning um, I'm just doing my little morning setup um, you guys saw I make lemon water and I try and write in my five-minute journal this happens basically every day this happens often okay this is the little setup I made for my lunch um, I decided because I'm running a bit late I'm gonna take my breakfast to go so I just made a little green smoothie then this is like um, a lentil salad that's kind of pre-bought I just put half the container in here this is a little cookie that I made <laughs> so that's for later these are grapes uh, I just put them in this random yogurt container to recycle and this cookie I got given it on the train yesterday so I just thought I would bring it um, so normally I do eat more than this in the day but we have an event tonight I'll talk about it later um, so I didn't need that much stuff so yeah I just put it uh, in like a little paper bag or a reusable bag and I bring it to work okay guys so I am ready to head out for work now um, I honestly was such a slow poke this morning I don't even know what happened but um, basically what's on the agenda for today I'm going into the office um, have a lot of stuff to finish so I need to get started on that right away um, and then today at 2 30 we have like our town hall so basically everyone from the company is going to like this event space and they're gonna talk about like current news and um, I don't really know what to expect I've actually never been to one so um, but everyone's going so it should be fun and then there's like a cocktail after so I'll try and like sneakily film some stuff um, but uh, yeah that'll be the day and then if not I'll see you guys when I get home today so before I leave I'll show you my outfit okie dokie it's funny because this outfit is like I literally wore this exact same thing five years ago um, when I just started university, I, I remember wearing it because I took a selfie in the mirror um, of the dorm bathrooms. So it's different jeans, but it's the same look. I guess I've had, the, I've literally had this shirt since high school. Okay, I'll just show it, but I still like it. I don't know if it's that like fashion forward, <laughs> but um, I don't know. I, I still like this shirt. So this shirt is from Forever 21. Remember when Peplum was like all the rage? Um, so I just thought, what the heck, I'll wear it today. I'm wearing these black jeans and um, my boots from Aldo that I wore yesterday and I'm probably going to wear for the rest of the week. Sorry the lighting is so bad. It's like kind of a gray day today. Um, but hopefully you guys can like 
get a bit of an image. I don't know, is, is this a nice outfit or not? I just, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Hi guys, so I just got home from my day. Um, it's about 5.30 right now, which is usually when I'm leaving the office. But um, I left early today because uh, the main reason I left was because I was starving. Um, so I wanted to come home and have dinner because I know it's gonna be another busy night of work. <laughs> so um, I just decided to come home um, and finish my work from home. So I am going to make dinner and I'm gonna watch TV. I usually like to watch YouTube or TV um, while I eat dinner just to like wind down. I know that's like not what you're supposed to do and you're supposed to like be in the moment and shit. But um, look, I live alone and I have no one to be in the moment with. So I'm going to be in the moment with um, my TV show that I'm currently watching, which is Working Moms. Um, it's good because the episodes are only 20 minutes. So I'm going to watch like one or two and then get back to work and also next step is to change into my comfy clothes so let's do that so much better I'm wearing the same thing as last night um, it's like an all champion outfit I guess um, the sweater is a cropped sweater from champion and um, these sweatpants are also from champion so let's go make dinner um, I went and got some groceries oh it's dark in here I went and got some groceries on the way home, just some like essentials that was all I could carry. Um, I got oat milk. They started selling oat milk at the grocery store and it is by far the best option in your smoothies, in, um, okay, that's, oh, in your coffee is what I was gonna say. I was like, what else do I use milk for? Um, I got some organic arugula. Um, I decided to get organic because I hate washing my lettuce so i'd rather pay like a dollar or two more to not have to do it um i know that's pretty princessy of me but whatever these were on sale cherry tomatoes i got a cucumber and i got two avocados i eat a lot of uh salad so that's what all that is for the the avocados are more for breakfast so yeah i'm gonna make a salad for dinner watch tv What an exciting life. Hope you're enjoying this video. Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday morning. Um, I need to get the heck out of here because I'm already super late. I don't know what's wrong with me this week. I just like, I'm so tired and I can't get out of bed. Um, normally, like I said before, anyway, I don't need to say it again. But um, I don't know, I'm kind of mad at myself. Um, so I am just want to like get to work and like have a good day. My stress is pretty high right now. Like my project is super intense, more intense than like I thought it was going to be right now. Um, I think I just underestimated the workload. Um, so I stayed up until like 11 working last night. And then it's kind of hard to like go to bed. So when I wake up, like work is the first thing on my mind. And like it's pretty high stress. So I don't know. I just like, I wish I had like some time in the day to do stuff like personal stuff besides like just eating um so i don't know i'm gonna try and figure that out today like how to make time for my personal life if possible i know sometimes it's just not possible and that's kind of the nature of my job but that's just how i'm feeling today so i'm gonna show you guys um my outfit for today and then i'm gonna get the heck out of here so um i'm wearing these pants again you guys would have seen these um, in my outfits of the week videos before but I paired it with this gray sweater the sweaters from Zara the pants are from I think I told you guys they're from H&M but they're from forever 21 but they're really old um, and then I'm bringing with me I'm gonna wear my rain boots because it was rainy last night it looks like a nice day now though but I'm bringing these little sandals with me I'm gonna wear them at the office and wear my rain boots with me so that's it tonight um, after work I have like a networking event for um it's like the women in business association at work um so we're doing like a networking event where we're learning about personal finances saving to buy a home um that kind of thing so i'm actually really excited about that and what's cool is we get to bring a guest um so i'm bringing camilla with me so that'll be fun tonight um and yeah so i need to get out of here let's go have a good day
Okay, Kamij, how did you like the networking event? It was great. I learned so much. My life is a fuck up, but it's time. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go shopping now. Oops. Learn from, <laughs> yeah. learn from all learn, our finances. Learn how to invest. You know, invest on our on ourselves. Exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry, who is this? <laughs> Hi everyone, um, so it's Thursday night. I am in a way better mood than the past few days. Um, today was just a really good day. I um, just had some like better news throughout the day and I kind of like changed my mindset um, around and I made the decision that tonight I was taking the day off. So I'm gonna give you guys a little tip, a tip that I learned that someone shared with me at work is to ask for deadlines. So. Um, I got assigned a bunch of stuff to do at the end of the night, at the end of the day today. Um, and normally in the past what I was doing was I was putting a bunch of pressure on myself, finish it tonight, get those deadlines done. Um, and someone suggested to me, why don't you just ask when things are due, then you know if you need to be working at night or like how to prioritize. So I did that today. I said, when are things, when are these things due? Um, and we had a networking event tonight. So I kind of used that as my leverage for like, you know, I'm not gonna be able to give it that much work because from five to eight, we're gonna be in the networking event. And she's like, you're right, it's fine. Um, work on it tomorrow morning and we'll get back to it in the afternoon. So I have decided that I'm not working tonight. I worked really hard the last few nights, as you guys saw. Um, so I'm taking the night off. And yeah, the networking event was really good. We got to um, listen to two panelists talk about like personal finances and investing. So I'm definitely one, feeling bad about myself for like not having an investing game plan and all of that. Um, but two, also feeling a bit inspired. I wrote some notes down on my phone. Um, and once I have my finances more figured out, it's definitely something I wanna talk about on this channel because I think it's really relatable to people. Um, you know, like having student loans and like, having a normal salary like a lot of youtubers you know they're like very wealthy because they're famous youtubers so oh, so, me. so yeah um anyway i bought some stuff today i want to show you guys um i have a problem so when i'm stressed i do two things i eat and i shop and um voila exhibit a so Whatever, I'll just show you guys what I bought. I also did something so crazy today that I've never done before. I bought something off of a swipe up link on Instagram. I've never done that before. I literally swiped up, used my credit card, and spent $150 on a tank, uh, on a turtleneck shirt and pants. So look out for those in an outfit of the week. Um, but uh, so my roommate, she came to the networking event with me tonight. Hi Camilla. And she works at Aldo, so she got me a discount on some stuff. So, oh, these are not leather. I thought they were leather. That's why they're, they were not expensive. Anyway, she got me 50% off on these shoes and they're really actually like so comfortable. They're these little black um, patent loafers with like kind of like a crocodile skin vibe. So I really like these. I wanted to get fall boots, but I ended up getting these and I think they're gonna be so cute around the office and they're comfy enough to like wear to and from work because they don't have a heel or anything. So these are gonna be my little fall shoes and in the winter time, I'll be able to leave them at work. So I got those and I just got the little socks um, to sort of help me break them in. And next, I also got more shoes. Um, these are from Reebok. I wanted a pair of little sneakers to wear around the office because luckily we're able to wear sneakers um, at the office when we're not like meeting clients and stuff. So I got these, they're like the Cardi B ones. Um, they're super hard to get. Like I got so lucky that they had my, so my size in stock. Um, so they're like an off-white, like leathery um, material and they have the green logo so they're really nice because they're super plain and they match with everything but they're not too like shiny white um which i really really like so those are from reebok i'm really excited to wear them so probably i'm gonna wear these on friday and the aldo ones tomorrow so you guys will see in my outfits um and the one more thing i bought is from lush this is my roots hair treatment i talked about it in another one of my videos it's literally the best stuff you massage it onto your scalp and it just like cleanses your scalp and helps it grow so it's 9 30 right now um and i just need to like wind down because i'm really wound up from that um networking thing and like i'm used to staying up late so i am going to put this in my hair have a relaxing bath and just have myself a night because i think i deserve it so that's it for oh my god i thought today was thursday I was literally like, that's gonna be like, that's it for Thursday, tomorrow's Friday and we're done. We're not done.
This video is gonna be so long. <laughs> We're not done, it's only Wednesday. That's okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, good night everyone. <laughs> guys it's thursday morning um i'm super super late but i'm just gonna show you my outfit really quick before I, I head out the door this morning we have like a breakfast for kind of like the young employees it's like a in english it's a succession breakfast the word is way nicer in french it's like de la relève which means like ne next generation next generation breakfast whatever so it's starting in five minutes i gotta go um but i'm gonna show you my outfit um i realized i never showed like the accessories that i do um and someone commented on one of my outfits of the week saying that it would be nice to do that so shout out mariah thank you for that comment um yeah okay so i'm wearing these pearl earrings that uh, I alternate between like all the same accessories so they just kind of go in a loop depending on my outfit and for my bracelet I decided not to wear my watch today I'm just wearing my little Pandora bracelet in gold and yeah let's show the outfit so sorry that it's so dark it's like there's just not a lot of lighting in my place in the morning so I'm wearing this sweater from H&M um, it's really thick and warm these pants are from Mango and they have the little zippers on the side. These are from Camilla. <laughs> Outfit sponsored by Camilla today, actually. And these are the new shoes I got last night. So they're really cute. And yeah, I like this outfit. It's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty good outfit. I'm feeling good. And this is just funny. I want to point out I had to wear, because the shirt is like a little bit cropped that if you go like this, you see your stomach. And I was like, oh my God, I'm actually like a woman now because I have to wear a shirt underneath to like not show my stomach. Whereas like before, no one cares, right? So, okay. Okay, I need to get my stuff together and get out of the house because, like, I'm so late. This is so bad. Okay, see you guys later. No, you go. What about in class? Oh, no, you can't bring it home. I can't. <laughs> Walking. Of Michelle being cute. <laughs> Open the door, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> guys it's friday morning um for the first time this week i am happy to announce that i woke up on time i didn't wake up feeling groggy and uh i'm on time and i actually have time to spare before i need to leave the house it's currently 8 uh, 20 and i was planning to leave at 8 30 so i don't know what's going on and i've made my lunch i made my smoothie like i made everything so i think um I said I don't know what's going on, but I do. Um, I finally did a workout class last night. I did um, a bar class, and I honestly think that like doing that like tired me out, made me have a better sleep, so I was able to actually like comfortably wake up this morning. So I guess that just refines the per the point that working out is really important. So um, I am glad that like I put it on hold kind of because I don't know when I would have had time this week. You guys saw how busy it was, um, but. Yeah, it made me feel a lot better this morning. So today's Friday and um, I'm just excited. It's gonna be a busy day. I still have like a lot of work to finish. I think I'm gonna have to work this weekend too. But um, yeah, I don't know. Tonight I'm going to a tribe spin class. So that'll be fun. Take you guys along and then we'll close up the video. So let's go have a good day. Okay, so quick outfit of the day. Um, I'm wearing like just an all black outfit. Um, I find I'm like getting more and more basic with my style like basic bitch. I don't know um, Anyway, whatever this outfit is actually really comfy. So I'm happy with it. So I'm wearing this oh, the lighting is so bad I'm so sorry You can't even see Okay, I don't know if you can tell I'm really let's go over here <laughs> Okay, this sweater there we go it's like a tie around sweater from Aritzia. Um, I put just like a black tank top underneath because it's too low cut. Um, so it's long sleeve, it's so soft and comfortable. And then I just tucked it into these jeans that are from Just Black and I'm wearing my Aldo loafers as usual. Um, for accessories, Fred's earrings, shout out Fred, thank you for the earrings that I stole from you. Um, and my watch and my hair is just, I put it in like a twist. Um, I do that to like make it get more wavy after I brush it. So I might take it out, I might leave it up 
to be determined. That's it. So, so just because the lighting is probably going to be bad at the end of this video, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life. It was really busy. Um, please give me feedback for how I could make these videos better, um, make them more interesting. This weekend, I think I'm going to film like a sort of reset weekend, and then next week I'm going to film like a getting back on track week in my life. So I'm going to have a lot of new videos coming out, so make sure that you're subscribed. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! <laughs>